Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Action Comics 597 by John Byrne. Okay, I'd also like to say this is what if John Byrne made a romance comic. I don't, I'm, I guess I wish I knew who Leonard Starr was, but I just feel like he's probably associated with, uh, I don't know, I want to say romance comics. <laughs> I probably should have done the research, whatever. Feel free to chime in and tell me who the heck this guy is. Anyway, I remember um, n never being happy with the anchors on Action Comics unless it was Byrne himself because it was either Dick Giordano. And this guy, uh, Leonard Starr, is with King Keith Williams doing the inks over John Byrne's penciling, John Byrne's writing. Tom Zuko is coloring and John Costanza is the letterer. This is during... John Byrne's stint on Superman revamp post Crisis on Infinite Earths when he did Superman and Action Comics at the same time. Action was a team up book. It's funny because this is Lois Lane and Lana Lang. And I feel like this is all like a big tribute to Leonard Starr. I feel like he's sort of like a big name in the history of comics. And it's probably a real honor and exciting for Byrne to be working with him because he has such a reverence for the old school creators and um, comic books. But anyway, so, and of course, it's like pitting Lois Lane and uh, Lana Lang and Byrne's funny note on the cover. I guarantee this scene does not appear in this issue. So as much as I prefer like Byrne's inks or Terry Austin's kind of slick inks, I look at this and I see sort of what they were going for. He's going for like sort of this, I don't know, romance comic. You know, I'm almost getting a Vince Coletta effect. I hate to say that, but that's kind of what it's reminding me of. And um, so I guess this is more like a human interest story. I mean, it's Lois Lane and Lana Lang and that's kind of interesting. I don't know, awkward. It's like... But Lois is such a crab to Superman anyway. Does she really deserve him? I guess they're married, right? Who can came up with the continuity? Maybe, I mean, I actually think it's kind of fun to explore them married and, like, their kid and stuff. Um, but then again, I mean, I also like classic Superman where his identity's a secret and she's short. he sort of, like, tries to keep it from her. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's won a Nobel Prize, and or no, not a Nobel but like a Pulitzer Prize and she can't figure out that Clark Kent and Superman are the same person. That's so ridiculous. See, okay, so isn't this giving you like very like Vince Coletta like eyelashes here? I'm sorry, but you know. But actually, I mean, he doesn't make the faces look ugly. There's nothing like super offensive about it, but it's sort of like soft and just like, I don't know, a little, you know, Apartment 3G or Mary Worth, just like, not super exciting, so it's just a little more low key, which I guess is fine since they're sitting in a diner talking and not eating. I hope they tip the waitress very well because that's rude to just take up space in her, you know, station. Anyway, is that a gangbuster in the hospital? I guess that isn't working out too well for him, is it? Um, anyway, so, Leonard Starr, John Byrne, Lana Lang, and Lois Lang, Action Comics 597 by John Byrne. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. All right, thanks guys.